Taurus, welcome back. Can you believe we're December 2nd already? So I'm gonna do your love reading, and this is for those of you that are either, you know, away from your love interest currently, either physically, mentally, or both, and you're just kind of wondering what's going on with them. Okay, I'm gonna do the 1960s deck for your energy and your love interest, this energy on the Sierra Marchetti deck, but definitely can crisscross over. It can intermix. I can also pick up, pick up loved one's energy close to you, a family member, children, whoever is affecting you emotionally, I can pick up their energy here. Okay, so for those of you that are not currently thinking about anybody, this may be somebody who's gonna come into your life, okay? I can pick up finance in here. I cannot control the cards. End of story. Whatever happens is in here is what I'm reading, is what I'm picking up on. Okay, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You know, I've I've heard time and time again, that's not going to happen for me. I'm not interested. Um, there's all kinds of things. This may not be the reading for you. Go check the playlist for your moon and rising. It might resonate more for you. But also, things have a way of happening Six months, three months, just remember, okay, the universe is always listening. So whenever I've said never, I've said that three times in my life, and all three things have happened for me because I said that would never happen or I would never do that. And I'm telling you, your words do become things. So be careful, okay? <laughs> all right, just tit for tat there. Um, I'm still doing the bracelet stone giveaway. They are absolutely authentic. They're all custom made by me. I custom make the sizes. It's absolutely free to you. I just announced the winners the last couple of days for the month of November at the end of this month. I will be announcing winners from this month. So definitely get in on it. They're all natural healing stones. You can check in the description below box below if you're interested. All you have to do is like this video so they'll hit the thumbs up. Subscribe, which is absolutely free. It gets you in the giveaway every single month. And I pay the shipping, I pay everything. It's just my way of giving back to you. You ever see that movie, Pay It Forward? That's what I'd like to do. That's my way of paying it forward to you and saying thank you. Thank you for supporting the channel and allowing these messages to circulate because you know, we all do this for guidance. We wanna know what kind of what's going on for some insight and, and you know, in a couple years ago, I dove into tarot and I haven't stopped since because it helped me. So, you know, if it's helping you, then definitely share it, you know, um, subscribe. It definitely helps others hear the messages and it gets you in the bracelet giveaway for absolutely free. All you need to do again is like the video, subscribe, which is free and uh, like the Facebook page or leave a comment on there, whatever you want to do or Instagram if you prefer that. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to use the Shacy Prism Tarot cards for the energy mutually between the two of you. Okay. All right. All right. For Taurus, please, Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, December 2nd to 6th. So even though I'm doing this the 2nd to the 6th, things can happen three months, two weeks. Things may be currently happening. Things may have happened in the past. Okay. It's all in divine timing. These are 60 years old come this January. Taurus, you have the Two of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. You have the Lover's card, Gemini. Okay. I'm going to call out the signs, but it doesn't necessarily have any significance. If I see one sign more than the other more often, I will definitely let you know that, okay? For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, why is the Two of Wands here? Clarify the Two of Wands, and then we'll get into it. Ooh, wow, the Ten of Cups, Taurus. Wow, Lover's card. Clarify the Lover's card. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Queen of Cups, nice. Wow, okay. Taurus? Now, this could be you, could be your person, could be both of you. Interesting. So you're looking forward. You're trying to make a choice, a decision for your future. Could involve family, children, definitely a love interest because we have a love choice here, a decision you're trying to make. You're being divinely guided, Taurus. This is the universe talking. This is Major Arcana with the Lover's card here. They call that Twin Flame Union. You see the angel trying to bring two people together. Their hands are almost getting ready to join here. I feel in union possibly with a family. You're making plans for the future. You're holding that world in your hands. This person could be at a distance from you. And you're thinking about it. You're kind of like, how can I get there? What should I do? Should I move forward? Is this a good plan? You're contemplating, I feel, or they're at a distance. You're just trying to figure out maybe how you can get there. You're thinking about a Queen of Cups, and that's Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. 
This is divinely guided. This is making a decision and a choice and being guided by the universe toward a divine partner. So this is divine union from what I can see here right now. It could involve children or you feel you could have family with this person. You feel like you could have everything with this person. I call this my whole enchilada card. This is having it all, happy family. You can see there's kind of a farmer, an acreage there. You know, they're dancing around. They're looking at their accomplishments. They're very happy here. You, I feel that you feel that you're being divinely guided toward this person, trying to make plans to possibly move toward this person. You're making a choice or a decision here. Lovers is all about making a choice, but being divinely connected, okay? And uh, we're going to keep going here. So let's check out your love interest energy. This has been going on for you for quite a while. But this is action now. I feel like you're starting to actually make plans quite possibly. Taurus's love interest, please. What does Taurus need to know for their highest good? What is going on with their love interest or how are they currently feeling? Ooh, that's too many cards. Well, they got a lot to say. Trust me, if they're meant to come back out again, they will. But that was way too many. That was too... Too much. For Taurus's love interest, please. What does Taurus need to know for their highest good? How is their love interest feeling? Okay. They have the five of swords. So they have a little bit of ongoing stress here. Okay. They may have been through a battle or a difficult time and they kind of feel like they're just needing to rest. Maybe they're overwhelmed right now. But five of swords is, is mental stress. It's a lot of mental stress that they've been going through. Taurus's love interest, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why is the Five of Swords here? What can you tell Taurus about the Five of Swords? I'm sorry, that's a Four of Swords. Four of Swords. It's a Cyril Marchetti deck. So sometimes I think that... <laughs> it's Okay, wow. Look at that. King of Cups. This is Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer again. Yeah. Okay, so there could be some conflict here mentally for a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Let's keep going here. How is Taurus's love interest currently feeling, please? And this can also mean that your person is involved with a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, and they've been through a battle with them, and they're needing a period of rest as well. Because we do have the King and Queen of Cups here. This may have been somebody that was married. Okay. Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. This is a lot of, you know, stress going on in their life currently. And again, see this person is just resting there on top of their sword. So they've been through a battle. This can be a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, the same person. Or this can be that, you know, you, you two are coupled here. You know, you're on the same level. And you're making a choice. And perhaps, you know, or vice versa, you know, they have ongoing stress right now. And it could involve you or someone else that they were married to. Wow. Ten of Cups. Okay. That's the whole enchilada card again. Okay. So that's having it all. But this can also be about completion. Your person may have gone through a period of completion. Or this could be you. Even though it's King and Queen of Cups. It, they're on the same level. This can be, you know, having it all with a... King, Queen of Cups, a water sign, water energy, or someone who's matching the energy of being very loving, very nurturing, a very supportive type person, makes a great parent, okay? The next card out, Five of Pentacles. This is feeling some financial loss. This is feeling also some emotional loss, okay? But this is Pentacles mostly here, and here's a family, so I feel like your person may have some ongoing stress that involves, you know, some financial difficulties or feeling left behind perhaps in a family situation or, you know, feeling, and this could even be with you, okay? Your love interest, you both have the Ten of Cups. You're trying to make a decision or a choice is what I can see over here on your side. And it's a divine connection between you and possible water sign here. They, I feel they're at a distance from you, okay? And on this side, I'm seeing that someone's going through some ongoing stress, either financially or um, emotionally, could be both within a family situation. Could involve a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. We're going to have to keep going here, and it doesn't have to be. This can be that they're feeling left out in the cold by you, 
and they're your counterpart they're your twin flame here because you are on the same level this is this is like the perfect partnership here okay you're feeling both very loving toward one another but maybe because of the distance they have ongoing stress and they're feeling left out in the cold and they know that they can have the ten of cups with you this is somebody that has gone through an emotional battle i feel both emotionally and financial you know maybe withdrawn emotionally and financially and they're just they're kind of just needing to rest right now i feel your person is needing a period of rest but let's keep going again that could be you and it could this could be all of you it really could it, it um it could be both of you let's check out this uh ten of cups here please for taurus wow yeah look you feel like this person is your sunshine your abundance but this is also growth growth in a relationship where you feel like you can grow with this person you feel like this person is your whole enchilada your sunshine your abundance this is growth happiness this is what we all want this trumps all cards in the whole deck you've got the ten of cups and the sun and the lovers card i feel like you are thinking about this person from a distance and you're making a choice here we're going to clarify that queen of cups Clarify the Queen of Cups here, please, for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please, Spirits. Chariot. You're wanting to move forward, perhaps, toward this person. This is fate. This is destiny here. This is movement with the Chariot here. This can also be a Cancerian. Okay? This is divinely guided toward a water sign, I'm feeling, or somebody that you feel that is very warm, very nurturing, very loving, very responsible, balanced between their head and heart. Okay, clarify the sun card here, please, for Taurus. Wow, coming out. Nine of Wands. Okay, for some reason, maybe you feel that they are guarding themselves or protecting themselves, or this is you. Okay, this is like putting a wall up, putting a barrier up, blocking, perhaps. Maybe you're blocking your own happiness here. Interesting. Or maybe the Queen of Cups is blocking you. Let's clarify that Nine of Wands. Hmm. This is transition. Okay, you may be blocking yourself right now because you're in a period of transition. You're waiting. You're trying to, again, I feel, look at things from every angle and every perspective. So you may be blocking yourself right now or else your love interest is doing this. This is protecting oneself and putting up a barrier. Okay, not really kind of probably saying too much to you right now or you to them. It's a period of waiting, transition, looking forward and trying to make plans, trying to figure things out here. So that could be you trying to figure things out, how to move towards your Ten of Cups. You may be blocking them right now or they're blocking you because you're in transition, a period of waiting. I feel like, you know, it could be either one of you. It could be both of you looking at things from every angle. This is also about self-sacrifice, okay? You might be hesitant, guarding yourself. They're guarding themselves. You're just trying to maybe figure things out in which direction to go here. But this is a destined, faded path here being brought by the universe. This is this is a twin flame union. You got the king and queen of cups here. You guys are on the same level. You are mirroring one another. You both, I feel, feel you're each other's ten of cups here. Let's keep going. We're gonna clear their we're gonna clarify their end in a minute. Let's get some mutual energies between the two of you. I'm going to extend your reading in Vimeo. Taurus. So if this is resonating for you and you're interested in checking it out, you can go in the description box below or you can check in the comment section. I will pin it there. For Taurus and their love interest, please. How are they mirroring one another, please, spirits? How are they feeling toward one another? How are they feeling the same, please, spirits? What does Taurus need to know for their highest good? How do this Taurus need to know for their highest good? How are they mirroring one another? Taurus and their love interest, how are they mutually feeling toward one another? What does Taurus need to know for their highest good, please? December 2019, please, spirits. What does Taurus need to know? New job, career advancement, opportunities. So maybe both of you have a career change or, you know, a new job, an, an advancement. Could be even a new business. Having new opportunities to do with, you know, work, advancement. Ah, completion of life lesson harmony. 
you're moving toward completion okay this is moving toward harmony you're both moving completing a life lesson or a goal completion is closing out a difficult cycle in your life and moving on to new and it makes complete sense because in your other readings you had the tower ten of swords that was an ending of a very difficult cycle in your life a chapter closed and it says here completion of life lesson harmony so you've completed that cycle now and maybe your person has okay and you're trying to figure out how to move forward toward your divine partner here again on the same level king and queen of cups i'm feeling for taurus and their love interest please spirits for taurus and their love interest please for taurus and, okay truth message clarity you may both want to speak your truth to each other and clear the air here i'm feeling that would be lovely wouldn't it okay Let's see how your love interest is feeling here. Can you clarify this Four of Swords again, please? Can you clarify the Four of Swords again here, please, for Taurus's love interest? What does Taurus need to know for their highest good? Palace of Coins. This is exclusive to the Cyril Marchetti deck. This I call the Palace of Money or Palace of Abundance, okay? So your person may be resting. They've been through a difficult time. Okay, they're concentrating on their money, their coins. Okay, maybe they have a new job, career opportunity, or advancement of some, si some sort, a new business. Clarify the King of Cups here, please, for Taurus's love interest. Clarify the King of Cups here, please, for Taurus's love interest. Clarify the King of Cups. King of Swords, yes. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, Six of Cups. So this is about, this King of Swords is Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, but this is somebody that is showing no emotion, okay? Your love interest may be focused on their coins because they've gone through a period of financial or emotional loss, so they're concentrating and resting whenever they can, I feel, and it's something to do with possibly their money, their coins, their focus. The King of Swords is also someone that's been through a battle, okay? Wanting nothing but the truth and clarity and honesty, which is interesting because we have truth message and clarity here as well. Okay, so they're focused, I feel, on thinking about you if you're from their past. This is a soulmate energy here, twin flame energy here with the Six of Cups. This is about emotions and love. Okay, but not showing it, okay, because they've been through a battle. They've been through a difficult time financially, emotionally, both, perhaps in a family situation. So they're focused on their money and their coins. They're focused on wanting nothing but the truth and clarity. They don't want to mess around. They're focused on their money and their coins, okay. I feel that, <clears throat> excuse me, they may not be showing you an emotion right now because they're currently in a period of rest. And if that's not them, it's you. And it could be both of you here, okay? Because you did both have mutually the completion of life lesson here, okay? You may have been in a long-term relationship, either you, them, or both of you here. And so you're closing out that difficult cycle and almost ready to move forward, okay? Almost ready to move forward, but you're not showing an emotion or they're not. Okay, we're going to keep going here. And then we are going to head over into Vimeo. Now in Vimeo, for the continuation, for those of you that are brand new, it's a small purchase price. But if this resonates for you, you may want to check it out. Okay, it's about another 15 plus or minus minutes, depending on how much I need to clarify. I'm going to pull the uh, Mystic Moon Oracle cards here. We're going to get some messages. I'm also going to pull... These are 30 years old from the Enchanted Tarot deck. I'm going to pull some of those. I'm going to do pick a card with the Romance Angel, see if there's any love messages for you, as well as we're going to see if there's any messages from the universe that can help guide you. Okay, I still want to go ahead. Let's clarify this uh, Ten of Cups over here. I'm interested to see what this Ten of Cups is about. And then we're going to go and clarify everything else in the extended. We're going to see where this where this growth is leading us. What What is this growth about? We're going to find out who's guarded, why, what, what's it about here, okay? And we're going to find out how long are we going to sit here and wait and contemplate before we actually get some movement here because the chariot's here. The chariot, you know, is, is a card of action, but somebody's busy standing there looking at a distance but not actually doing anything yet, okay? 
Wow, this is interesting. So this is the Knight of Swords and Strength, okay? So somebody is trying to think really fast. This, you know, sword energy is about mental thoughts, but this is the fastest moving knight in the deck. Sometimes this person could be quite brash, could be a Leo, could be again Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Somebody with strong fire and air in their chart, but I also have water and earth here. I have all the elements here, but this is someone perhaps taming themselves, trying to control themselves because they want to come in fast or want you to come in fast. Either way, we're going to need to clarify that more in the extended. That's very interesting. I can see that your energies have changed already since the last reading, Taurus. So let's go ahead. Let's dig a lot deeper in that extended. I Again, I'm desperately wanting to find out what this Knight of Swords is about here. We need to dig deeper on that. We need to dig deeper on the Soulmate card. Or that Six of Cups is that somebody from your past okay or this can also be about children are affected emotionally financially yep we're gonna need to dig deeper on this one i want to see why this chariot's not moving yet this is a faded union here with that lover's card in the chariot and the sun those are three major arcanas in a row and the major arcana we have over here is the strength card which means that someone's really trying to hold back is really trying to control themselves here okay they're keeping their emotions under wraps here Taurus is what I'm seeing they're holding back they're holding back okay let's find out why okay so for those of you this resonated with I will see you over at Vimeo if you're interested in that and if this is where you leave me I will see you next time I thank you so much for being here again for the bracelet giveaway absolutely free to you check it out I'll show you one of the bracelets here up close in case you haven't seen it for those of you that are new. This says, I am enough, but there are other charms to choose from. So I picked out all of the genuine healing stones. They're natural that were to your highest benefit. Okay, so there's citrine for abundance on there. There's carnelian, there's lapis, there's Persian jade, there's tiger's eye, there's amethyst, there's smoky quartz, rose quartz. I could go on. <laughs> but I won't. Anyways, check it out if you're interested in that. I thank you so much for being here. I wish you nothing but beautiful blessings for the rest of the month, and I'll see you in a few more days if you're leaving me now. And for those of you meeting me on Vimeo, I will see you there in a minute. Namaste.